Hey champions, this is Arian Tyson out of St. Louis, Missouri, and I'm just coming back at you to shoot a video on this gorgeous Tuesday um, here in STL. Um, as you can see, the uh, the sun is shining, uh, sun is rising, and um, it's just going to be a great day. Um, I want to talk to you briefly about something that really happened to me uh, last night. Um, last night, I had a conversation with um, a business partner of mine, you know, who really, who really spoke life over me. Um, sometimes people can see things in you that you don't see in yourself, or they can see things in you um, that for some reason you know what you're supposed to be doing, but yet you don't know how to go about getting it done. And so, as I shared with them, I pretty much told them that, uh, you know, I appreciated them for putting their foot in my behind last night. Um, but the reason that I appreciate it so much is because you need people like that in your life that are willing to, you know, tell you the truth no matter how you may feel about it, you know, because the truth is going to stand. And so I want to challenge you today, you know, regardless to, um, regardless to your shortcomings, regardless to whether you feel like you're worthy or not, regardless to whether or not you feel like you're even good enough or that you feel like, you know, whether or not you can have something that may be of an impact to someone. I want to challenge you while also encouraging you to be all that you should be. And let me be clear. Not only should we, should we be all that we can be, but we should become all that we should be. And why is that important? It's important because we have to understand that, you know, we are destined for something greater than us. And we have the capacity to really impact a lot of people, to really impact lives. And the thing about it is when you get self out of the way and you focus on what the big picture is, you know, because helping people is what's going to allow you to break free financially. When you, when you take money out of the equation and, and stop making money the top priority, it just seems like money comes to you naturally. You know, it's like we shouldn't go chasing the money. You know, but we should go chase the dream. Chase the dream and allow yourself to be a blessing to others. And it's not a, it's not a hard concept to understand because you have something of value. You are something of value. And I'm not talking about monetary value. You have a voice in this world and you have a right to be heard. And so you have to challenge yourself to think outside the box. Why? Because when it's all said and done, you should never go through life with what ifs. You should never do that. And you have to really look at yourself in the mirror and just step out there and be, and for once, be honest. Be honest. And I always think about how so many people were used that were not quote-unquote qualified by man's standards. And I was talking to someone on Facebook yesterday 
And I was saying that how, you know, God does not call the qualified. You know, he actually works the other way around. He qualifies the called. So those who have been written off, those who have been, you know, downtrodden, those who have um, been told that they're not going to succeed or, you know, the likelihood of them succeeding is like slim to none. Those are the very people that he used, you know, and, and that's just that's the amazing part, because that's just how God is. You know, when nobody wants to give you a chance, God gives us chance after chance after chance to get to get this right for our dreams to manif to be manifested. But you got to make a decision. You know, one of my one of my dreams is I can see myself um, really standing in front of a is standing in front of a, a group of people and being able to speak life into them, being able to encourage them. You know, and it's almost as if like, you know, the pulpit itself is just that, that is preparing me. And so, or shooting these videos is like, it's preparing me. And so, was I afraid to stand in front of people? Yes. Was I afraid to start shooting these videos? Absolutely. But everything changed when I realized I have to remember the big picture. And in the big picture, it's not about me. It's not about me. In the big picture, it's not about me. And once you realize that, that's when things really start opening up. That's when the game really starts to change. Because you really start to learn more about yourself than you realize. That you are that you are great, that you are phenomenal, that you do have something substantial to uh to provide to your peers and to those that you know may be on the verge of giving up but you got to be willing to step out there and so I was challenged to step out there you know I was challenged that it's time to step out there and so you know because I don't know who's coming after me I don't know who wants to um, who wants to speak or who wants to, um, you know, un you know, who wants to um, learn how to impact others, you know, and not be not be ashamed of it, you know, not be ashamed of the uh, the trials and tribulations that you, that that you know that you've gone through, you know, because everything that I've gone through has prepared me for this moment right now, you know, so. You know, despite everything that I've gone through, you know, the good, bad, and the ugly, I count it all joy because it's pushing me towards my, my destiny. It's pushing me towards my greatness. And so if you're someone watching this that knows that you're destined for greatness, knows that you have greatness in you, but yet for some reason, you just find yourself around people that just for whatever reason, they say they love you one minute, but then, but they don't know how to speak life into you. Your life will really start to change when you get around a community of people that will speak life into you regardless to how you feel about it regardless they will tell you the truth regardless to how you may take it you'll get over it you know even if you're offended by it you'll get over it because you'll respect them more for telling you the truth and you got to be willing to step out there so i challenge you to make the day the day that you step out there I challenge you to connect with me. I challenge you to reach out to me. I challenge you to lock arms with me. Click in the link below this video and join in this awesome community. You know, so that you can learn firsthand. 
you know, why this change has come over me. You know, and if you're not already subscribed to this YouTube channel, subscribe to this YouTube channel. You know, because you matter, your dreams matter. And it's time for them to get, it's time for them to come out. So click the link below. We'll talk to you soon. Peace.